What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. It's the Trucking Guy. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like the video. But uh, let's get right into it, man. This one's going to be about as hot shot trucking easy. Um, I would say yes and no. It's easier than running a semi uh, if you're new to the game. If it's, it's an easy way to get into trucking. It is an easier uh, path to entry. Um, but is it easy? No. Living in a pickup truck is not easy. Um, dealing with shippers, if you've never done it, or customers, or hauling freight is not easy. It's easier than most jobs. It's easier than a lot of things. It's an easy business to um, be profitable at and be successful at if you do your due diligence and you really know what you're doing. And you've put the time and the energy in to be successful, to step out, step out on the right path. Um, but is it easy? Um, I would say overall, no. Because it depends on how you go about it and how you set it up. Because if you set it up as an owner-operator working for a company who handles the hard part, uh, you know, back-end payroll, dispatch, uh, compliance, credit checks, DOT, all those types of things, then yeah, it would, that would be an easy way to do it or an easy way to set it up. Um, if you try to start your own company and you've never done it before and you're going to do it right off the bat with a hot shot, then no, it's not going to be easy. Um, but it is an easier way. I mean, it's how I started and built up into a fleet and built a company. It's how, you know, a lot of people get their start. A lot of people on YouTube, if you notice now, they're almost all the hotshot guys that started in hotshot are transitioning to a semi. So it's a stepping stone is really what it is. In my opinion, hotshot used to be a illegal means of transportation. You would be unregulated. You would pick up at two o'clock in the morning. They would call you and they'd say, go pick this up in Houston and run it out to West Texas or run it out to the oil field in Colorado or whatever. And no e-logs, no logos, no DOT, no number, no nothing. And you would just drive it there as fast as you could get it there, as straight as you could get it there, and then turn around and deadhead home. But they adapted the the means hot shot really to just LTL freight. So it's just a small semi is what it is. And it, you carry the loads that are they wouldn't fit on a semi. They forgot to put it on the semi. There was something happening. They need to order extra material, extra parts, extra something. And they only need a small portion of it, so they put it on a hot shot. Or it's just a small piece, a small piece of equipment or somebody bought something like a tractor or a bobcat and uh, they don't need a whole bunch of them or a whole you know a lot of the commodity or a lot of the product they only need a small portion of it um so that's where hot shot comes into play um uh, but guys have been doing the hot shot realm for 15 20 years it ain't nothing new but the way that it's being adapted to people running ltl freight less than load freight is they're taking loads that may necessarily fit on a 53 foot because they're lighter, they're under 20,000 pounds, and they're putting them on a smaller truck that people buy because they're easier to buy, easier to get, easier to finance, uh, easier to drive if you've never driven a semi, easier to get a CDL for, um, and then go drive. Uh, or there's a lot of guys doing non-CDL hotshot, um, which is crazy, but a lot of people do it. It's an easy way to get into the industry. Um, so yes, it's easy to get into that portion of it. Doesn't mean that it's going to be a long-term good business venture. Okay. So it is easy to do. You could use it as a stepping stone. Don't over leverage yourself, lease the equipment or rent the equipment or borrow the equipment until you can get some better equipment and have less limitations that you can actually have more accessibility to freight or build a customer base because they're not going to pay you a premium if you're not doing premium work. They're not going to pay you if you're not specialized. They're not going to pay you if you can't haul an abundance or a specialized type of material or commodities. They're only going to pay you a, a small amount of money. Now, sometimes here and there, you might get lucky and these non-CDL guys get loads that pay three, four, five, six thousand dollars whatever right but it's not going to be the norm and it's not going to be average it's not going to be consistent okay consistency is built through a semi more or less because the industry adapted semis to do what they do the truck is built for the job why reinvent the wheel is what i tell people a lot of the times so if you're looking for something easy or a, a, a entryway into that yes just don't over leverage yourself when you're buying the equipment or buy in the with a plan to upgrade like a lot of guys buy one tons uh, 3,500 series trucks to do hot shot, and then they'll buy like the 40 foot single axle, uh, 7,500 pound axle trailers um, that have a lesser limit that they can do under CDL. And then I see a lot of guys on Facebook and YouTube, they'll use that for a while, get a CDL, buy a better trailer, and then step up and do a uh, CDL hot shot instead of non CDL. And then those guys will either hire somebody to put in that truck, um, whether they have their own seat or they're leased onto somebody like us or a conglomerate, and then they'll go buy a new truck which would be a bigger truck, a 4,500, 5,500, something like that, or just go straight into a semi. Um, or they get a toy hauler or like a, a Freightliner, uh, one of those little M2s or whatever they are, um, you know, Kodiaks, things like that. But those are, it's just a difficult to adapt that to what we do. 
because they're not, um, how do I say this? They just don't seem to hold up as well. Um, as well as, uh, you know, they're expensive. And if you're going to do that, in my opinion, just jump up to a semi, you know, um, you can get a good used semi for around the same cost. You could buy a new, uh, 3,500, you know, you can get them for 50, 60,000. I've seen guys get them for 35, 40,000. Uh, but just be prepared to put some money into those type of trucks, but you can lease trucks. You know, there's, there's rider. There's a bunch of different lease programs out there that you can lease semis and get in there. You can lease trailers or you could do power only for a while. So you can afford to buy a trailer. The, the list goes on, but a lot of people use the non CDL to step up into the CDL to step up into a semi or something like that. So it's an easy barrier to entry because you can buy the truck cheap. You can rent the truck, lease the truck, go to enterprise. You can borrow it from a buddy if you some of you may already have dualies or one tons or even 2500 series trucks with cummins in them or whatever that you're using for your roofing company your landscaping company you know your oil field guys whatever and you want to transition into that and then you guys trade up after you start making some money or you guys like the the lifestyle and the money and you end up transitioning into a semi but it's an easier barrier to entry to get into the trucking industry but it's usually just a stepping stone because those trucks don't hold up they don't last as long and that's kind of what they are for so if that's your plans, absolutely uh, hot shot is easy. It's just all about how you set it up. Is it easy in general and total? No, it's a very difficult business. You have to know your numbers. You have to know things the right way. DOT, safety, compliance. There's a lot of other things to know other than just driving a steering wheel down the road. Um, there's just a whole lot of other moving pieces that you really need to manage. Um, so if you can do those things and learn that side of the industry, yes, hot shot is easy in that aspect. But I guess there's just a lot of ways to look at it and uh, go back and forth. But if you've never been in the industry, it's an easy way to get into the industry. But there's a lot of cheaper ways to get in the industry. So I would say that it's easier than others. It's not easy in general, but it is a cost effective way to do it. But the best cost effective way is to lease the equipment so you're not over leveraged. You don't go bankrupt. You don't ruin your credit. And you're able to transition into other things. Because you'll eventually see that there's better ways to make money, whether it go into CDL, Hotshot. Or go into um, you know getting a semi or whatever or leasing a truck. So I would just say that it's easy in that aspect, not easy in some other areas of it. But uh, as a if you were just going to say overall, is it easy? No, it's not. So it just depends on how you look at it and what your uh, capabilities are. So that's the trucking guy signing off. I appreciate you guys tuning into this one. We'll catch you on the next one.